members of Chad in Diaspora and friends of Chad in America. My name is Gore Baitu and I'm running to become your representative at the National Assembly in Chad. On August 11, 2018, we celebrated the 58th anniversary of Chad Independence Day. It was a time for us to reflect on our march as a nation toward perfecting the ideal of a peaceful, sovereign, and independent Chad. There is no better time than this to renew our common commitment toward unity, progress, and hard work. As Chad and Diaspora living in the Americas, the commemoration of our Independence Day is often a moment where we are challenged to reach deep into our heart for a vibrant revival of our civic values, patriotic sense, and our direct implications in the development of our country. Whether it's the issue of implementing relevant laws, taking into consideration our needs, the need of our child and diaspora community in America, or materializing our full participation in child national development, the diaspora must be directly involved because we have a voice in the conversation and a lot more to offer than a figurative role. With the proclamation of the Fourth Republic, a new page of our country's history has been written with the adoption of a new constitution giving the Chadian diaspora around the world the opportunity to fully participate in Chad's development process. This is our time and not the moment to doubt, nor to remove ourselves from the political process. We are a generation that has been ready, tested, and willing to assume its full responsibility in carry on the legacy of our nation's founding fathers and patriotic farm builders. We are a generation that may have grew up outside of the borders of Chad, but we are a conscious generation that is far from giving up on its civic right. We are a generation fully aware of its political responsibility and would not run away from our nation's call of duty. My fellow brothers and sisters from our diaspora community around the Americas, let's stand together. Let's stand tall as a child in diaspora in the Americas because our democracy will never grow any stronger if we continue to waver over the development of our communities and the future of our youth to the political elite or the most vocal activists. Today, we can collectively make an impact. If you are ready, together we can put our diaspora first again our most recent tentative to bring our diaspora together taught us valuable lessons about our community's resilience and ability to raise up when called to face its destiny. For many, that experience, sadly, has left scars and taste of incomplete tasks. But even with all the setbacks and our challenges, the challenges we faced in the past, our community has never lost hope or faith on our ability to rise up one day. Today, that time is here. The time of revival has come for the Chinese diaspora in the Americas. We are being given a unique opportunity, not only to rekindle our relationship with one another and unite our diaspora community all around the Americas, but most importantly, to come together and claim a seat at the table that would allow us to fully participate on, in the debate regarding the destiny of our diaspora in our countries. Our engagement as diaspora community across the America must be more than a slogan seeking change and political reform. It must be bigger than our personal feeling and political affiliation. It must be rooted in our belief, values, and in the way we always serve our communities, dedicate our time to its causes, and put the interests of our country first. Today, we can't afford to go back 
in time and revisit our past differences and community struggle and dwell on the reason why we have grown apart. But we can move on with confidence, mindful of our past for sure, but optimistic of the road and our step forward. Let's conquer our fears, my brothers and sisters. Let's reach out to one another and collectively put the interests of both the diaspora and the countries above political party affiliation, regional and ethnic line. Let's ask ourselves what needs to be done and let's take the necessary step to put our country on a more sustainable path to fully unleash its development and progress. In other words, time is up. Time is up for cynicism or remaining oblivious and nonchalant to concern. Let's move forward by giving our country a chance. Let's remain enthusiastic about our future. Let's exercise patience, understanding while embracing and accepting our responsibility on sharpening our diaspora's leadership role in fulfilling its responsibility in perfecting our democracy. As modest as such personal commitment and contribution may seem, its impact on the mind and soul of our fellow citizens here and back home will be far greater for Chad in the long run. As we get involved as Chadian diaspora in the America, our commitment will surely set a positive and inspirational tone, not only for our kids and families, but for our communities all over the America. This revival will plant the seed for the next generation of Chadian and future leaders, both abroad and in Chad. Our recent history as Chadian diaspora in America has shown that every time we put the country first and unite behind it, we have succeeded. Most importantly, every time we come together, we are by that simple act, in a greater way possible, honoring our fathers, mothers, elders, and the memories of all those brave men and women before us who sacrificed their life and stood up for peace, justice, unity, and the value that weave the unique fabric of our wonderful society, its diversity, and the beauty of our Chadian way of life. My name is Goran Baitsloon, and I'll be honored if given the opportunity to serve as your next deputy, representing Chadian diaspora in the Americas at the National Assembly in Chad. Are you ready? Let's put our country first.